You often see tension fabric buildings on farms or at public works yards, storing equipment and bulk materials like gravel or road salt. Tension fabric buildings can also house small factories, like this one, which manufactures these buildings. The fabric cover is high-density polyethylene, a material known for its exceptional strength when subjected to tension. It withstands strong winds and heavy snow accumulation. Following the engineer's plan, workers cut the required number of sheets of a specific length. Then the assembly process begins. They flatten and tape down the first sheet to immobilize it, then overlap the adjacent sheet by 5 centimeters. They tape down that sheet to keep it in position. With a hot air welder, they seam the sheets. The welder slightly melts the overlapping edges with hot air, then presses them together with heavy wheels. This fuses the edges into a sturdy seam. Workers use the same process to weld on tension pockets 60 centimeters in from the bottom and sides. Each pocket will contain a steel or PVC tube holding nylon straps spaced 60 to 300 centimeters apart, depending on the building size. These straps apply tension to fasten the fabric down over the steel structure. The assembled sheets form a single cover that forms the sides and roof of the building. Separate covers form the front and back walls. The covers of the largest buildings are made differently. Workers connect multiple covers with what's known as a Ketter system. Ketter is ultra-strong PVC or nylon rope. An automated hot air welder running down a track folds over and fuses the edges of each cover over the Ketter. Come installation, the fabric sealed rope edge slides snugly into an aluminum channel in the building's roof structure. When the cover is finished, workers fan fold it. Then roll it up for transport to the installation site. For the building's steel structure, the factory orders steel tubing in the required diameters, thicknesses and strengths and cuts pieces to the required lengths. The steel is galvanized, meaning it's coated in zinc to prevent corrosion. Workers put the tubes into a press to flatten the ends into connectable surfaces. At the same time, the press punches holes for bolts. For buildings with a rounded top, workers bend tubes for the trusses, a main component of the roof framing. The operator simply programs in the required radius, and the machine automatically adjusts the dies to curve the tube accordingly. Workers then position the parts for each truss segment in an assembly jig to prepare for welding. First, workers tack weld, meaning they weld just enough to hold the parts together so that they come off the jig as a unit. At the next station, workers finish the welding. This segment will connect with six others to form a 30 meter wide truss running the full width of the building. For the top selling models, for faster output, robots do all the welding. A tension fabric building typically takes a team of four just a few days to erect. It can be customized to attach to different types of foundations and be designed with windows, garage doors and other features to suit the purpose it will serve.